All right, Coach, you get the 68-60 win over Denver. Uh, I know you can look at the stat sheet uh, up and down, but I'm sure probably the most important one to you is the fact that you're 1-0 and to start conference play. That's right. <laughs> it was a big win, great way to start the conference season against a team that uh, was picked very high in, in the preseason standings against a team that's been uh, been there and done that in terms of what we're trying to accomplish as a program. They won 22 games last year. And they've played really well thus far this season, and I think they're going to be in the thick of things here at the end of, of the WAC season. Uh, with, with a chance to, I think, be one of the best teams in this league. So it was a big win for us. Yeah. It seems like you, you guys got a lot of big shots at opportune times, but it seems like Denver just kept coming back yeah. and responding. And y'all never really could pull away. Y'all had a 10-point lead in the first half and then another 10-point lead in the second half, but y'all just were never able to pull away from them. Yeah, you know, they're, they're really disciplined. Uh, they, they execute so well offensively. They, they got a bunch of high IQ kids. They're really well coached. Um, they're... Um, they're determined in, in what they do offensively and defensively. Their zone is really, really effective. Um, we, we uh, I guess, got just barely enough uh, against their zone to, to survive. And, and uh, I thought defensively our energy was just good enough to get some stops down the stretch. But at the same time, you know, we had some breakdowns. They, they missed a couple shots that um, we can't count on teams missing. So uh, we'll need to learn from the film. And uh, they'll, be, they'll be awfully hard to beat here you know, down the, mm -hmm. down the road at their place. But quick turnaround, 48 hours, we had the Mexico State coming in. I'll talk a little bit about your team. You had six guys score at least eight points. It seemed like it was yeah. just such an all-around effort from, you know, one end to the next. Yeah, it's, uh, it's great to get contributions from so many guys. I'm not sure we've had a game this year where you had six or eight you feel like played pretty decent, you know. Even Southern Miss, uh, they came in and they're a very good team. That was a great win for us. And we just looked at that one and said, let's learn from this because – we really only had, you know, a guy and a half. You know, Keon played really well in that one. J.L. Lewis played pretty well, and no one else played great. So, uh, if, if you got, I guess, five to seven on any any given night, they, they give you pretty good contributions. You're in business. And I know, especially in the second half, you know, Brandon Gibson and Gibson chipped in with nine points, had two big threes, and then Keon made two big threes. So it seemed yeah. like, you know, you kind of you know, strung on the back of those guys during the yeah. second half to maintain that lead. Yeah, I like to think our guys are in the gym a little bit more this time of year uh, when we don't have classes and. You know, all, all these guys uh, dream about being pros one day, you know, and uh, I tell our guys, you're pros right now during the Christmas break because you don't have any school, you don't have any academic responsibilities. So this is really important to get in the gym. And we've challenged our guys that way, and I think our guys have, have been in the gym and, and they've got more reps and a ton more shots here lately, uh, you know, from the three-point line, from the free-throw line. And uh, hopefully that equates into shooting the ball a little bit better. I know 6 of 13, we didn't hit many tonight, but... I was happy with our, our lack of attempts. We didn't settle for a bunch of threes, although that's what Denver's pretty good at with their zone anyway. Uh, but uh, we'll take 6 of 13 every night. All right, well, next game, you talked about it Monday night, and New Mexico State comes in. I'm sure you don't have to remind the guys of what New Mexico State did to you guys, you guys last yeah. year, going 0-3 and then losing in the conference championship. Just talk about the game coming up and, I guess, the, the hype around that game. Well, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> and, uh, they're, you know, they're they're a very very good team. They're um, they're definitely one of the best teams in our league. Uh, Marvin has done a tremendous job. They represented our league last year in the NCAA tournament, which is our dream, you know, and our ultimate goal, as it is, I'm sure, every other team in this league. So, um, it's a it's a big opportunity to uh, to compete against a team that's really put us in our place a bunch, you know, in the, in the past year. And uh, you know, I can't. Uh, I can't promise uh, we'll play great or that we'll win, but uh, I can promise you our guys will be will be excited about the opportunity.